Hi guys, so today I'm going to do something a little different. First, I'm going to show you my Ultimate Collector's Edition of the Dark Knight Trilogy. Then, after that, I will be reviewing Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, and also, after that, I'll be ranking each movie. So let's go take a look at this. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the Hot Wheels cars of the Tumblr, the Batpod, and the Bat. So, I'm just going to roll the tumbler around for you. It rolls pretty nicely. Uh, these two wheels are a little, a little uh, tighter. Or not tight, but they just kind of uh, uh, touch the, the actual vehicle part. And it doesn't make them run as well. But overall, it runs pretty smoothly. But the smoothest runner of the, these two is the bat pod. The wheels are rubber and on the tumbler, but on the bat pod they don't really feel rubber, they feel more plasticky. But it, it does roll very easily. And now onto the bat. It does come with a stand. It doesn't uh, fit into the bat as easily or tightly as it should. But um, it's a really cool uh, model of the vehicle. And I really like that this uh, that this collector's edition came with these. And now I'll show you the packaging. So when you open it first, uh, it should come with the letter or the message from Christopher Nolan right here. Now I have opened this in case you're wondering. And then after that, it comes with the book with all the Blu-rays. So there's some nice artwork there of Batman. Then here's Batman Begins and the Blu-rays make up the picture which is nice. And then here's the the Dark Knight. There's Heath Ledger's Joker. Great performance. There's the movie and special features. Now the Bat Batman Begins comes with the movie and special features on the same disc. And the Dark Knight Rises with the movie and special features. And the Dark Knight Trilogy special features. And then here's a nice picture of Batman against Bane. Okay, so I'll put that to the side. And then this is the Dark Knight Trilogy 48 page book on the creation of each movie. Some artwork. There's uh, some still shots and it's cool. There's some um, quotes from the movies in each thing. Here's like the table of contents. So I'll put that to the side and now on to the uh, Mondo villain artwork. Now, I don't really want to open these in front of camera because I have a small workspace, but you can look at them online if you want to. But it is a nice envelope that it comes in. Okay, now let's go get the review started. So, on to the review. Starting with Batman Begins. Batman Begins is an excellent film. It's one of my favorite films ever. I think it's excellent in the way it displays Bruce Wayne's character. I actually want to see more of Bruce Wayne than Batman. Of course, it's awesome when Batman's on the screen, but I really love Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne and not Batman. Or I love Batman, but Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne is great. Batman Begins gets a 10. Now, The Dark Knight, what most people consider to be the greatest superhero movie ever. The, it is an excellent film. Heath Ledger blows it away as Joker. It's a great film. I love it. It's an excellent sequel. The Dark Knight gets a 10. Now, The Dark Knight Rises, the closing film to this trilogy. The Dark Knight Rises is a great finale. Bane is an awesome villain. Heath Ledger's great as the Joker, but I do think I like Bane better, not by the performance, but just in 
his character. I really like this character a lot. He's my favorite villain of the trilogy. The Dark Knight Rises also gets a 10. So now I'm going to rank them. And in number three is something you won't expect. Coming in number three is The Dark Knight. Now, I love The Dark Knight. It's a great film. I just happen to like the other two films a bit more. Coming at number two is Batman Begins. I love Batman Begins. It's great, but I like The Dark Knight Rises a bit more. And at number one is The Dark Knight Rises. It's my favorite because it combines elements of The Dark Knight and Batman Begins and has some new elements too. I love The Dark Knight Rises. It's my favorite of the three. All of these films are one of my favorite movies ever. I love this trilogy. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.